everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Cook With Me video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Personal Points program, but I also provide calories as well. So in today's video, I'm gonna be making a recipe that is called Pizza Meatloaf. This is actually something that I tweaked from a Home Chef recipe. So on the Home Chef website, I'll link their website below to this recipe. This is called Meatloaf Pizza Yola, it's called. And I'm just calling it Pizza Meatloaf because for, it's just easier for me to say it that way. So I did make some tweaks from the original recipe just to lower the points and calories a little bit. Now, when I first did this, the points come out to eight points and that is using extra lean ground beef, 96% lean. But I find that with meatloaf and things like that that you need a loaf for, I re you really need a little bit of fat in those. So I prefer to use the 93%. With the 93% lean, it's 10 points and then 360 calories. If you use the 96%, like I said, it's eight points. And I believe the calories were about 323. So what I'm gonna do, since it's 10 points for that, I am going to just serve it with some zero point vegetables and I'll also earn back uh, at least a point for how much I have of these. So all I'm gonna do with these is cut them up and roast them in the oven. And then I may just sprinkle each serving with about a teaspoon of grated Parmesan, which would be zero points for one teaspoon. So I'm gonna set those aside for now and just go through real quick the ingredients we need for the pizza meatloaf. So we're gonna need 10 ounces of ground beef. Like I said, I'm using 93%. So if you do choose to use the 96%, that's completely up to you. I'm also going to need two slices of part skin mozzarella. I'm using this Publix part skin mozzarella. So if you use any other brand, make sure to account for any changes in the points. I'm also going to use a little bit of garlic powder. So usually I use garlic cloves and I just mince them up real good and put them in that. But for today, I'm going to use garlic powder. Also, it calls for one teaspoon of onion salt. And I'm just going to use some of this minced onion. Here I have 12 slices of turkey pepperoni. This is just the Hormel turkey pepperoni. In here I have two ounces of Prego traditional sauce. I'm gonna be putting one ounce on each of the meatloaves. So the meatloaf is actually, I'm just gonna be making two portions and we're each gonna have our own. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. And finally here I have a quarter cup of these panko breadcrumbs. I like to use the Italian kind, but all I had was plain. So that's what I'm using. So what I'm gonna do is make this into a meatloaf and then I'm just gonna split it in half. It's gonna become two loaves. I'm only making enough dinner for just the two of us tonight. All right, I'm making some room here and I'm gonna get everything cut up. I don't need the cheese or the prego right now, so I'm gonna set that aside. The first thing that I'm gonna do is get my squash and zucchini cooking. I'm just gonna roast them. I have my oven preheated to 425 and I have a baking sheet here with some aluminum foil on it that I've sprayed with cooking spray. I've peeled my zucchini and squash, but you can definitely just leave the skins on, just wash them real well. So I'm just gonna quarter these and then just cut them into little pieces like that. All right, then all I'm gonna do is just put some salt and pepper on those. And then I'm just gonna give them a spritz with olive oil spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the oven, just get them started while I put my meatloaves together. Next, I'm gonna take my 12 slices of pepperoni and I'm gonna chop that up real into real small pieces. This is just gonna get put into the meatloaf. So I want mine in small pieces. If you like it, you can have it into bigger chunks if you want. All right, now I'm gonna take a bowl. I'm gonna add my 10 ounces of burger. I'm gonna add the pepperoni. The quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs. A little bit of garlic powder. And some minced onion, which like I said, if I had onion salt, I'd be using onion salt. 
And if I had the onion salt, I'd use about half a teaspoon and then another half a teaspoon on the vegetables. So usually when the vegetables are done, I season those all different ways. So when, right now I just put salt and pepper, but sometimes I put everything bagel seasoning on them. It just really depends. So now what we're gonna do is just get in here with your clean hands and mix that all up. All right, now once that is mixed up, now just form it into a loaf and then just split it into two. If you want to, you can weigh it out so that it's even. I'm just gonna eyeball it. So now just kind of form them into little loaves. You don't want them to be too thick because we want them to cook evenly but just make sure that they're spread out even. So then just put them on the tray and then just make sure that each of them is the same thickness, just so that they cook all the way through the same. All right, now I'm gonna add them to the tray with the vegetables. So I've just stirred up the vegetables some and moved them to the side. And then I'm gonna put my meatloaves over on that side. And then those are going in the oven for about 18 minutes. And then after they're done, we're just gonna put the sauce on each one and the cheese, and then they'll go back in for another couple minutes just until the cheese is melted. Okay, so the 18 minutes is up. So now I'm gonna add the sauce to each one. So just equal amounts on each one. and the piece of cheese. And then just stir up the vegetables. And then that's gonna go back in for between two and four minutes, maybe two to five minutes, just until that cheese is melted. So now I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of Parmesan to the vegetables. And that is the plate. Not the prettiest of vegetables when they're peeled. They look a little more colorful. So let me just show what it looks like when you cut into it. There we go. And it is so good. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.